I'm Don. Today we're painting a creature caster model and we're painting with cuttlefish colors. But this video will be a bit different because of my commentary. Today we'll be talking about how to level up your painting from tabletop miniature painting to a pretty decent like golden lemon level painting. Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my studio. This channel is supported by all these awesome brands. This video is focused on sharing tips, especially for painters, newer painters, and painters that have been painting for a while now but want to level up their painting. First, we talk about speed painting, speed army painting. So that is not my forte because I tend to want to paint my miniatures better than tabletop standard. If you are truly aiming for speed painting, just use a spray can. If you have a unit of ultramarines or you're painting some models that has a lot of skin, just use a spray can. Do a bit of zenithal and you're done. You just need to paint the details. So do you need a fancy airbrush? Of course not. But if you can afford it, why not? So does contrast paint, express color, speed paints work for speeding up your painting? Of course it does. But will it give you really nice miniature? Will it give you high quality painting? Of course not. So if you're not into army painting or you just want to paint some miniatures, the commanders and the leaders of your army at a level that will be really nice, you really don't need those products. Now back to like zenithal or value sketching, dry brushing a ton of miniatures to create nice value sketching is so inefficient. It's very time consuming in comparison to just using a spray can. Similarly, painting an entire army with speed paints or contrast paints or now express colors, let's be truthful guys, that is also time consuming. So again, if you really want quick, really quick army painting, just use spray cans and then you could use oil paints to do quick washes and then clean it up and then you're done. So can you create nice painted miniatures with contrast paints and speed paints? Well, you can if you give it more time. I mean, you paint the same level of highlights, you paint the same level of recesses, so basically you're spending more time on the miniature and thus it's no longer speed painting. So now I'll give you tips on what I think would really level up your miniature painting if you're into that. First, learn all the painting methods. Get comfortable with all of them and apply them in one miniature. Meaning, if you want to learn proper layering, use one miniature and do just layering. Do not do recess painting, don't do glazes, don't do wet blending. And then, if you want to learn wet blending, use one miniature and paint it by a wet blending. So basically, focus your learning process, meaning you're focused on just doing one technique per miniature. You will be limited with what you can do, of course, with that miniature, but eventually you'll do and apply other painting methods to make that miniature painting look really good. Now, do you need oil paints? I have a ton of oil paints. I have Windsor's, I have Gamblin's, and I have those dirt cheap student grade oil paints. Oil paints are super fun, but basically, much like acrylic paints, you get what you pay for. The dirt cheap alternatives will work. It will work for you. I mean, if you're a really good painter, you're comfortable with all the painting methods, and you use crappy like paints, dirt cheap crappy paints, you can pull it off. 
it will take you a bit longer to achieve the results you want if you're using their cheap materials and of course paints. If you're just starting out to trying to level up your miniature painting game, I would never recommend their cheap alternatives. What I'm saying is, what I earlier said, basically, you get what you pay for. And if you use the higher quality paints and materials, the frustrations and the drawbacks are minimized and you will enjoy the hobby a ton more. Of course, you don't need to buy the whole set. You just need to slowly invest, invest slowly and buy a few colors, buy like a couple of colors every time you go to a grocery run. <laughs> After learning all the nuances of your paint brands, basically paint brands are just personal like preferences and to be honest, the cuttlefish colors are growing on me. It's really fit. It, it does fit my painting style a lot and because they're pre-glazed paints. So it really depends on what paint brand you like. It's a personal preference. So just find the paint brand that will fit your painting style. But again, I'm reminding you that you're getting what you pay for. Now, do you need expensive Kolinsky brushes? Much like airbrushes, of course not. However, unlike airbrushes, you will find it a lot easier and more fulfilling and satisfying to use nice Kolinsky brushes. Now, do you need fancy Pro level wet palettes? Of course not. Similar to airbrushes and brushes. But again, it will make the painting more fun. Ultimately, how do you level up your miniature painting? By spending a bit more time on painting one miniature. Learn all the basics, get comfortable with the supposedly advanced painting techniques, and then spend a bit more time on painting one miniature. Then you will slowly realize that your miniature painting is leveling up. So even if you're really into army painting because you like playing with your miniatures, it is really fulfilling if you try to paint at a different level or different painting quality, especially for the commanders of your army or the gods and leaders of your army. So once you get comfortable with all the painting techniques, you have a basic grasp of the color wheel and you have decent materials like brushes and wet palettes. It's just the amount of time that you spend on a miniature to help you level up your painting. Ultimately, find the painting method that works for you, that you find relaxing and yet you can produce really good painted miniatures. Oh, lastly, be very comfortable in painting highlights because it makes your miniature really pop. Now it's time to thank all my patrons at Patreon because they make this channel possible. A ton of thanks to my silver and bronze patrons and of course my gold patrons. Me and my family appreciate your support so much. Also thanks to my platinum level patrons and of course my crazy Marco Colucci and Matt Adamo palladium level patrons. Now it's time for our golden lemon reveal. Basically, I super enjoyed the painting of this model. I actually recorded the painting of this model too much. And I have a one-hour tutorial video available now at Patreon. Different tiers, different perks. But I do hope you consider to be a patron because I will try to help you level up your miniature painting. I hope you like this video guys. It's really short but I have the longer version again at Patreon and until next video guys. 
เดอะชิดปันชิด